What's going on YouTube? Destructible here today. Sorry it's been a little while since I've had a video up. Been really busy with family and stuff like that. Anyway, today we're taking a look at the Ring of Fire Shield Breaker. This is a crazy AoE build where you're just going around doing a flaming uh, Ring of Fire. That's, that's just what it is. It's really, really awesome. It does a ton of damage and I hope you enjoy. If you do, like and subscribe and all that jazz and uh, you guys have a wonderful day. What's up YouTube? Destructible here today. We're taking a look at the Ring of Fire Shield Breaker class. So we're going to dive right in, take a look at the items of choice, and go through them. So first we've got the Mythical Alad Aladras. Alad we've got the Spellblade right here. Uh, this is going to be increasing your attack speed. It's going to be giving you a plus one to all skills in Oathkeeper. Some uh, increased uh, Eye of Reckoning, which we're going to be using a lot of. And then uh, giving some uh, lightning damage converted to fire damage uh, on that fire strike. And then adding some fire damage to Eye of Reckoning and converting some physical damage to Eye of Reckoning. Second, we've got the Mythical Entropic Coil. And we've got two of these. So in total, we're getting plus four to Demon Fire, plus four to Hellfire Mining, and plus, two, uh, plus four to Eye of Reckoning. And then uh, the chance to get Entropy, which is a 15% chance on attack, to do some burn damage over two seconds, increase to crit damage, and then a little bit of chaos damage. And keep in mind, we are using two of these. Next, we've got the Cyclone set. So the Cyclone set is uh, a combination, in this case, since we're not using the Shaman, of uh, Thermite Mine and uh, Eye of Reckoning, as you can see in the four piece down there. Uh, it's really going to bolster those a lot. You're going to benefit a lot with those skills with this set. Uh, first, we've got uh, plus one tell skills with uh, the Oathkeeper, which is something to keep in mind. Uh, you're going to get some more fire damage out of Eye of Reckoning. And then we're going to get some lightning damage uh, being converted over to Eye of Reckoning. And then as well, uh, convert some physical damage to uh, lightning damage for Eye of Reckoning. Next, we've got the Conduit of Destructive Whispers here. So this is going to be giving you a flat HP and energy buff, as well as plus two to Vindictive Flame and plus one to Demolitionist. So uh, in total, you know, you're getting a, a whole lot of uh, additional skill points from this and a little bit more survivability from uh, the resistance buffs you get from that. Then we've got the Cyclone Effigy here, which is giving uh, plus one to all skills in the Demolitionist tree. It's giving you a 25% chance on attack to, on critical attack, excuse me, to uh, summon a Cinder Wind. There's three of them that can summon, and I have no buff active right now. Currently, it's doing 4,000 fire damage and 2,300 lightning damage each. So keep that in mind. You know, the three of them can be up, and they run around and just go really crazy. And then to top it off, I have no buffs active at the time. Cyclone Mantle. So this one again, we're giving, we're getting uh, more to Eye of Reckoning and two more to Hellfire Mine. And uh, yeah, it's just two abilities that we're going to be using a lot. So you know, this one isn't massive, but it's still obviously really good. So we can get that four piece out of this set. Then we got Cinder Touch here. Uh, this is going to give you some more uh, lightning damage over to Eye of Reckoning, and then it also has a 10% chance on attack to summon a Cinder Wind again. Now this one's just a 10% chance on attack. Uh, to summon them and then again they still deal the same amount of damage and then as well you're getting plus two to that vindictive flame and soul fire next we've got the mythical uh, warm scale foot guards uh, this grants the warm scale ability which is going to give you a 10,000 damage absorption against bleeding and elemental damage as well as giving a 700 fire retaliation uh, in addition to plus two to that thermite mine that we'll be using a lot then we've got the last piece, which is the Cyclone Mark. And this is going to add a whole bunch of lightning damage to the Thermite Mine and then convert Chaos Damage to lightning damage on that Thermite Mine as well. Moving on to the last few pieces, we've got the Mythical Ulzun's Torment, which is giving a whole bunch of abilities that we're going to be using, which is Vindictive, Grenado, Divine Mandate, and then just a flat plus one to all skills with the Demolitionist Tree. This just gives you a ton of skill points to everything. This is like, in my opinion, the best belt you can have for this build. So keep that in mind. Then we've got Corvax Deception. Uh, this could be opted out with other pieces, but this one's going to give you a flat offensive and defensive uh, ability increase, as well as some fire damage. And then again, uh, 
that uh, inc that uh, demolitionist proc, and then uh, blazing eruption, which does a giant AOE with a chance to knock down enemies. We've got the mythical rune plates of Ignifar, and uh, these are giving you some Blackwater Cocktail, and then the Wave of Fire, which is real cool. It's 25% chance when hit to just erupt and do this big um, AoE of fire damage. The last piece, which is the only piece that I would suggest uh, thinking twice about, is, uh, and this is the other one I had that I wanted to use for this, is the Mythical Divine Steel Hauberk. Uh, this gives plus three to Ulzun's Wrath and plus two to Divine Mandate, and then it also gives you a granted ability, which increases your health by 14%, and then gives you some fire resistance, vitality resistance, and chaos resistance. Uh, and this is uh, this is a buff for everyone. So this is actually, in my opinion, this will be a very beneficial uh, item to use when in a party. You can really bolster your uh, ally's health, having that extra buff go out to them. All right, now we're going to move on to the skills. So I had to change a couple around when I was mess when I was leveling up and everything. Uh, I ended up with this once uh, the build was finally complete, uh, and let's get into it. Uh, first off, we've got Flame Touch. Flame Touch is giving you a big fire and lightning damage buff, and also those burn electrocute damage, as well as 165 offensive ability. Um, it's an absolute must. I'd pick this up, max it out, get that extra damage in there. We've got Temper. This is going to add a little bit of defensive ability to it, which is basically the only reason I even put one point into it. I put one point and got five because we have so many uh, passive uh, skill points we're getting from all of our armor. So it doesn't hurt to just put a point into all of these uh, small ones just to get these small little buffs. Then we got Blast Shield. Again, this is one I just put one point into. Uh, it's going to give you a little bit of damage absorption and 26% chance to avoid projectiles whenever you drop below 60% health, as well as increase uh, your resistances when it procs. Next, we got Blackwater Cocktail. Uh, this is going to reduce uh, offensive ability to targets and um, also, uh, it's, I forgot, no, I'm wrong. It's the other one. I thought it did defensive as well. Uh, but this reduces uh, target resistances uh, by 13 for uh, three seconds. So uh, keep in mind, you could put a lot more points. If you're coming across an enemy that's living a little too long, let's say it's like a fire type enemy, um, and you're like, holy crap, Like this guy is just soaking everything, you could put a lot more points in Agonizing Flames here and then help reduce their resistances that much more. And that way you could just eat through those resistances they got. Uh, I just threw one point, one or two points here into Stun Jacks. Uh, for obvious reasons, they stun the targets uh, for two to three seconds at a time. And uh, it's real good. And then I went and uh, just put another point in over here to add some lightning damage to it as well. Next, we got the Canister Bomb over here. I just put a couple of points into this one. Uh, this is doing some fire and lightning damage. And then this is a uh, Concussive Bomb which gives it a chance to stun, and then also is converting some uh, physical and piercing damage over to lightning damage. And then improved casing, which uh, is gonna add some fire and burn damage as well, and then increase the radius of the blast. So the big, uh, another big right next to Eye of Reckoning is gonna be your Thermite Mine, and Thermite Mine is an amazing ability. It does a lot of damage, and it's, to me, a really cool looking ability. Uh, you want to be throwing these around while you're using um, Eye of Reckoning and you're just going to make a fiery mess and just destroy everything. Hellfire Mine is going to reduce some resistances to uh, abilities you're not going to use uh, as well as increase the fire and burn damage which is the main reason you'll pick this up. Then you've got Flashbang. <coughs> Excuse me. Flashbang uh, has a 35% chance to confuse targets and then also reduces their defensive ability for 6 seconds. And then also it's going to add some slow to keep them in place. And then, oh, oh excuse me, it has that 27% chance to uh, fumble and impair aims uh, on the enemy that you throw it at, which is really, really good having those fumble and uh, those fumble attacks kick in there. Uh, we got Grenado over here, and I believe yep, we picked up Skyfire Grenado, which is going to convert that physical damage over to lightning. 
As you can see, it does quite a bit of lightning damage and uh, has a 100% chance to knock down the target for two to three and a half seconds, which is great. You just want to get... If, the more you can keep these enemies slowed, stunned, confused, fumbling attacks, like, there's just a lot of good utility you get from these to prevent enemies from doing damage. So it's just good to put a couple of points into these and use all these abilities, just cycle through them. I'm actually got them all bound in my mouse, so I'm just cycling one through six all the time. Next, we've got high impact, which is going to add some fire damage to uh, Grenado here. And then uh, shattering, uh, shattering Blast right here, which adds some crit damage and more fire damage. And then uh, some retaliation damage to the attack, which we won't be using. Vindictive Flame. So this does some fire damage. Uh, and also, biggest thing to note is it's going to increase your speed by 20%. Uh, definitely feel free to go all the way to 26 and just get that 22% increase to total speed because uh, the more speed you have on your attacks, uh, the more damage you're going to deal. A uh, big thing about uh, Vindictive Flame that I love is Ulzun's Wrath, which uh, is going to convert 15% of the attack damage into health and then add some of that electric and uh, fire damage to it as well as giving a chance to knock down the target again. So as I, you've heard me say it, Going through the demolition history, I mean, you got chances to knock stuff down, stun it, uh, impair their aim, fumble their attacks, reduce the resistances. You're just weakening the enemies and keeping them immobile. Uh, in my experience, this has been really, really like a really good build to use in groups, and it just helps your friends out a lot because you're just running around knocking things down, confusing them, and just uh, it, it reduces a lot of the damage going out to everyone. Alright, moving on into the Oath Keeper. So, first we've got Eye of Reckoning, which is going to be your biggest damage that you're going to be doing. Uh, biggest damaging ability. You'll, for me, I'm almost pressing two buttons almost all the time. Like I said, I have one button that's going to be cycling numbers one through six. Whatever your case may be, you might want to find a way to have this work for you. But I'll hold down my right click and just run around pressing my other button on my mouse. And it's just going to cycle my Eye of Reckoning, and while I'm casting it, it'll stop to throw grenades, mines, stun jacks, etc. Um, and it works really effectively. And then we got Soul Fire here, which is going to uh, reduce target's damage, and then um, also add a little bit of lightning damage to it. I put, uh, I think, one or two points into Summon Guardian of Imperion, and then I put as many points as I could into Celestial Presence. Reason being is because they reduce the target's resi fire resistance by 37% and then add some fire damage to the attacks. Uh, biggest reason why is just to reduce those fire resistances, so definitely pick that up. We picked up Divine Mandate here, which is going to increase your fire damage, uh, add some slow resistance, and then add some burn damage to your attacks as well. Then we picked up Presence of Virtue uh, for... Two reasons, you're getting some energy re uh, energy regeneration and then offense ability. And then Haven, which is going to increase your health and healing effects by 13%. Last, we picked up Resilience, which is going to give you plus 10% to defensive abilities and healing effects by 3%. Uh, some physical resistance, maximum resistance, etc. This is going to act like, I think, Blast Shield. I think that's what it's called, right? Blast Shield. Correct. Yeah, blast shield. Uh, this one procs at 66%. Blast shield's at 60. At 66%, this is just going to help bring you back up to life. All right. Now we're going to move on into the devotions, and we're just going to go through the uh, divine, uh, excuse me, celestial uh, powers that I chose. So first, I picked up uh, aether fire, and as you might have heard a little bit earlier, we are getting a little bit of extra aether damage out of this. Um, Another thing to note with Aether Fire, as I put this on Flashbang, and it also has a 33% chance to confuse the target for two seconds. Like I said, this is just giving you those extra chances to just confuse or just make your, your target not hit you or hit you uh, with reduced damage. Then we got Flame Torn over here. Uh, this one's just going to do a ton of fire damage, a little bit more chaos damage again, and then it does a huge uh, burning dot as well. And then we got our oh crap active thing. So at 45% health, this is going to activate, increase, uh, it's going to give you an 80% of your attack damage is going to be converted to health. And then a, a plus 22% increase to your attack speed and then increase physical resistances. Uh, Ghoulish Hunger is just an oh crap 
button type thing that'll automatically proc in case you get too low. We picked up Fisher over here. Uh, Fisher is going to send out these fragments that do fire damage and burn damage. And then again, if you see at the bottom here, it has a 25% chance to stun the target for one and a half seconds. Lastly, we've got Meteor Shower. Uh, Meteor Shower is bound to Eye of Reckoning, so it's constantly uh, dealing damage. And uh, yeah, Meteor Shower is, it just does a, an insane amount of damage. As you can see, I put it on Eye of Reckoning because it's constantly active. You can just see it right now. It's almost always active. They'll just keep coming down. So if I could say anything, it's put Meteor Shower on Eye of Reckoning, being that uh, you'll be using it. And then see, see I press 1 and all those abilities. That wasn't me doing it. That's just my binding, so... That's the build. I'm going to show some more gameplay footage. If you liked it, please like, subscribe, all that stuff because i got plenty more videos coming. Uh, this is Destructible, and you have a wonderful day.